What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Rabby K. Welcome back to my channel, where today we are going to be doing a little fun experiment activity with iHeartRevolution. What we're going to be doing is going through this entire vending machine that iHeartRevolution has released. It has 12 items inside, and I will be doing a look with exclusively the items inside this little box. So, stay tuned and keep on watching if you want to see A, what's inside this little box, and B, how to use them. This is the box and I have actually rearranged it so that it works more um, for using all of the products as I pull them out rather than pulling them all out and then using them, you know? So starting off, we have da -da -da -da, woo a travel brush. Oh, they are so cute. Isn't that just the most adorable little thing you've ever done seen in your life? They are adorable. We love them. Very cute. We've got a blendy brush, a packy brush, and an eyebrow liney brush. So I'm going to be using those brushes to actually do the makeup look as well. So I've already put foundation on, but I haven't baked or anything because we have baking powder. So this is the iHeart Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. And it is quite a nice little size, like not mad. So to bake, I'm going to need a sponge. Hmm. Luckily, we have marshmallow blending sponge. Cute. Oh, isn't that precious? That is so cute. I just want to eat it. <laughs> so because we're going to bake with it, I'm going to get my translucent powder. Hmm, it smells nice. And I'm going to... Put that back in, tip it upside down, pat it back in so I get a nice little bit of powder. And we're gonna bake. So before I bake, I'm gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Define in shade C1 and blend that bad boy in. One sec. Okay, concealer is on. Now we're gonna get our little spongy. I don't know how I feel about the shape of this sponge, but it is very cute. So I guess like it's done its job. That smells delicious and it doesn't look like it's going to give me flashbacks. So I'm pretty happy with the baking powder Oop, that I nearly dropped. And now we're going to need to bronze. And uh, luckily we have da -da -da -da, a mini chocolate marble bronzer palette. Yes. So this is the packaging. That is adorable. In that you've got a bronzer and a highlighter. Very cute. But we're going to need a brush. So... We have a kabuki brush. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, so soft. Oh, that is so soft. I'm in love. That's a little kabuki brush you get. I love a good kabuki brush. And this packaging is so cute. I wonder if it smells. Yum. It smells like chocolate. I'm going to dip back into my powder and just go all over my face first just to A, brush away the bake and B, set all the other powders in so that my what's I'm gonna call it bronzer blends nice so now I'm gonna use my little chocolatey palette and I'm gonna get into the bronzer hopefully it's my shade <laughs> oh shit and we're just gonna oh <laughs> all right cool we're gonna bronze it in <laughs> did not tap enough damn girl <laughs> We can fix it. It's fine. We're just going to go for a very bronze look today, okay? Normally, I wouldn't use a kabuki brush to do all of the blending, but this is the face brush that we have, and I want to keep it as close to only using what's in this little box as I can. We are super bronze right now. I'm going to put these off to the side for a second so we can blush. So we want to... Have a look at this little guy. Mini Ruby Chocolate Blusher Palette. Oh, cute. We love a good chocolate moment. This one has like a light pink and a bronze. I guess you could bronze with this if you really wanted to. So we're going to get our little kabuki and go into this lighter shade here and hope that it is light enough. It is lighter. Yes, excellent. It's actually blushing. It's not just bronzing. She's blushed and see how it's got a bit of a shimmer to it in the viewfinder. Very good. Doesn't matter because we're going to highlight anyway right now. So to highlight, I'm going to use this little guy and this little brush. And we're going to get into the gold highlighter, which looks very similar to one that I've already got, which I am running out of. So be excited for that. 
Ooh. Yes. How's that for a highlight? Mm. So that highlight is stunning. Um, yes, we'll be using again. <laughs> I want to chisel out some of this contour that I've done. So I'm going to use the bottom of this sponge and put it in the baking powder. And we're just going to run that along. Let that set in while I do other things. Oh, that smells so nice. It must have a flavoring. Does it say? It just says perfume. It doesn't say what's in it, but it smells really cute. Like rosy. Okay, what's next? Oh, we've got, so we've got one, but there is also a mini white chocolate eyeshadow palette as well. So I want to open them both at the same time because I want to use them both. That looks so yummy. I just want to eat it. Just looks like Milky Bar. Ooh, this one, not so much. So these are the two palettes for eyes. Like they have a light smell, but not like a super chocolatey smell. So these are the colors that you get in the palettes. Let's put them on our eyes. Not really the colors that I was expecting from these. Like I kind of was expecting like pinks. I don't know. They're okay, I guess. I'll probably give this to my mom because it seems like colors that she'd like. And this is a nice little like nude palette for whatever. We will start with putting this blending brush in the crease into this white shade just to get everything blending together I like to use a color that's like super light and is the formula of the eyeshadows you're using because I feel like it makes them blend better don't know if that's a real thing or not but we do it and now from the dark chocolate palette I'm gonna go into this light peachy brown shade and pop that as a transition shade with this little brush working with this little brush is actually like it, it's working and it's it's blending everything but the fact that it's so little and you're holding it like this it's quite annoying but it is working well so I guess like if you really had no space in your suitcase and you wanted a travel set it could be a thing now from this bad boy I'm gonna take this dark shade as well it is very very similar I don't know if it is the same shade because it doesn't say but it looks darker in the white palette so I'm just gonna try it just to see I think it is a different one like I think it's a different color or I'm just packing it and it's making it darker one of the two we're gonna just pretend like I'm doing something different and put it in the corners a little bit more. I think it is different. Now I'm gonna go into this dark palette again and pick this like pinky color up on my finger cause it is quite cute. And really get it in on my inner crease slash lid. Now for a shimmery shade and for the fact that I am just packing with my finger, it still has to be worked, which is fine, but just something to note. You really gotta work for it. It is a nice little payoff once you do get there, but you do have to work for it. And then we're gonna go back into the light one and pick up this white for the inner corner. And then for underneath, I'm gonna go back into the white one as well and just lighten up and color underneath my eyelid stab myself in the eye with the brush love that so they're done it's gonna wipe away my baking powder lovely and we need whoop now i need to do my lashes and liner and all that stuff so be right back boom there we go now i've got the choice of three different lip glosses coconut lip gloss a milk chocolate lip gloss and a salted caramel lip gloss and these are full sized. So these are the three lip glosses you get. This one is the coconut, this one is the milk chocolate, and this one is the salted caramel. I'm gonna use the pinky one today, but I do wanna smell them because I've been told they smell good. Oh, yum! That smells just like chocolate. Oh, so good. <laughs> that is delicious. Oh, yum. Yum, 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 yum. The one I'm using doesn't smell like anything. It kind of smells like coconut, but not as good. <laughs> okay, that's not my color at all, so I'm going to use a different one. Oh, so yummy. So this is the salted caramel. I think this will fit more with the look that I'm going for. Yeah, that's better. And last but not least, Pink Lemonade Setting Spray. So we're gonna set that bad boy. Ooh. Yum, it smells. So this is the finished look. It is very like 
casual and nude, but it's cute. Like, so recap, this is what we got in the box. We did get a big vending machine box, which is so much fun. And then you get 12 items inside. And these were the 12 items. Your brushes and your kabuki brush. So you get your little beauty tools. You get your little beauty sponge. So you get all of these cute little beauty tools. You get these three really cute and smells so good lip glosses. Um, as I said, this isn't really my color, but these two are very cute. You get four palettes. Uh, you get two eyeshadow palettes and two face palettes. So you get your blushes, your bronzers, your highlighters, and you get two different eyeshadow palettes. Value? Yes. And last but not least, you get a setting spray, which smells delicious, and I'm going to spray again. Mm. So all in all, it is a little bit gimmicky, but it is very cute and you do get a lot of stuff and the stuff is good. Like it looks nice. It's very casual, very plain, but they're all mini and travel size. So you can use them on the go, not take up too much space. As I said, the brushes, they do definitely blend and they definitely work, but it, it like it's a little bit finicky. But other than that, loved it. So that concludes what's inside the iHeart Revolution mystery vending machine it is very cute it is a great valentine's day idea i didn't really mean to uh do it around valentine's day but it's worked out that way and uh very cute yes so if you're looking for a cute little valentine's gift and you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend that enjoys makeup definitely worth it cute doesn't take too long to ship loved it so that is it i hope that you enjoyed seeing what was inside the iheart revolution vending machine and if you like this video and you like me then you know what to do like comment and subscribe do all the buzzwords all the things click the bell like the thing and i will see y'all in my next video thank you so much for watching as always we're at 885 subscribers and i cannot wait to hit a thousand we are slowly getting there slowly but surely so if you have subscribed thank you so much if you haven't please consider it and i will see y'all in my next video much love. Bye.